Hi there, I'm Alex Berg, and I'm joined by Dave from Feedback Gaming. Dave, what are we doing today? Well, I thought we might collect some taxes and sharpen some Fuck that. swords. We're taking the Kingdom of England. Come on. <laughs> okay. I don't know how we're going to do this, so I'm going to let you guide my hand. Well, you said you had a claim on it? Yeah, I do. But we have like your half... your claim, is it? We have like half as many troops as he does, though. Even less than half. But it's... It's not your claim, is it? Is it not? Whose claim is it you think how you have? How do you how do you even find that out? Because I looked at your character and it says titles, claims, and diplomacy. And on the claims you have nothing. It says the mycelepsy of Twitch. Mm-hmm. So that's one of your relatives. Who is it though? My cousin. Yeah. How come he's there. got it but I don't have it? The order in which people died. Right. So who is it? My celebs? Yeah. Hang on. Um, I've got to pay attention. I've got to pay attention to these these claims. So technically, um, why does it show claims that aren't for me? I don't understand that. It feels like it throws me off a little bit. That. Uh, it's because they are in your court, so you can technically press them. Right. So if you want to be sort of nice to these people, you can press them. Try to figure out who the hell it is, though. Oh, there he is. Yep, he's in your court, and he has a weak claim on the Kingdom of England because the Kingdom of England is currently being attacked by another member of your dynasty, I might add. Mm. It means that even though it's a weak claim, it can be pressed. So if you were to press it... Um, right he would become king and you would still be his duke and that would be basically it it would just put a member of your family on the throne right. which isn't exactly the same as putting you on the throne if you were then to change to like elective monarchy you could finagle your way onto the throne by already... nominating him as your heir and then dying and that would put you is that would make it already him. is an elective monarchy though isn't it yeah, it's an elected monarchy. So if you press his claim, no, I mean the other way around. If you turned York into an elective monarchy, oh, you would be able to right. make him your heir. So when you I die, see. you become him. I see, right. Okay, so that's not a good idea. All right, fair enough. It's not brilliant. No, let's presume. Okay. So I what you need to do is, can you can you do me a favor? Hold on. Go on then. Can you press the F8 button on your keyboard? Uh-huh. And then start faction. Uh-huh. Is there a... There's an independence, right? But there's no make you the king. Um... No. Okay, go to F7. Yep. Yep. And click choose a plot and scroll down to the bottom. Is there a plot fabricate claim on the Kingdom of England? Yes. Click that. Done it. Okay, cool. So invite now potential there... useful characters to this plot. Yeah, it, now there should be a checkbox next to, also next to it invite, where you say yeah, auto invite yeah, plotters. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, Do yep, that. yep, yep. Okay, this is really new to me. So what are we actually doing? What you're doing now is you are actively going out of your way, out of your way to try to prove that you are the rightful king of England and you're inviting other nobles to help you assert that. So they're going to say, oh yeah, I remember reading that in a book. That <laughs> this, Who were you again? Yeah, of Twitch. Yeah, he's he's the king of England. Yeah, he's supposed to. Yeah, sure. Sure, okay. that makes... All right, okay. This is like a shortcut routine then, isn't it? Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. Is this? Well, it feels like there's quite a lot of, of options to get titles and whatnot, isn't there? There are. They used to be a lot easier to accomplish back in the day. Okay. That's one of the things that've been nerfed most in this game. I realise that we still have that rebellion that I haven't put down yet because I disbanded the troops. I really should sort that out. Somebody wants to kill my. 
my physician because he happens to be <laughs> Jewish. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that is That's not pretty, good. That's pretty edgy. He's a true believer too, so there's no way in hell he's going to convert. Wow. Oh well. I'm a bit confused. We had, we had something rebel, didn't we? Yeah, we crushed. I crushed that for you. But the option's still at the bottom. No, there are two wars. There is the... Holy shit. Uh, oh, there we go. We're done. That ended one war. And now there is your relative who's bedridden. That's not, He's got cancer. Yeah, he's not long for this world, is he? Wow. That's his last chance to... He's got minus five health. Yeah. And he's got 620 men. I don't think he's <laughs> going to succeed. <laughs> oh, he tried though. So, so much for that. Our current king is a lunatic with the great pox though. So that's good to know. <laughs> I'm going to change my hairdo. <laughs> Priorities. Yep. So, oh, yeah. it says I have a de jure claim. And it is a claim for me as well. On Clumberland. I can't declare Clum it though, because I've not got a Cassus Belle. No, uh, that's the problem with those de jure claims, isn't it? So, what does de jure because mean it, again? It means that technically speaking, Cumberland should be under you, but since Cumberland is under the same liege as you, it doesn't really matter. All right, okay. But if you fabricate on her, I the am, Countess Helivre of Cumberland, then you can take it. Yeah, I am. Oh, oh another rebellion! <laughs> oh god, what's going on? War against the tyranny of King Philip II of England. Mm -hmm. So is he actually tyrannical? Mm, he's probably trying to revoke some titles. Without just cause. Right. What is a just cause for revoking titles? If somebody's being a douche, if they're in, in head, if they're the head of a plot, or if they refuse to, if they revolt like this for some reason, then you can. Uh, I think the King of England is going to win this one. Yeah. I get a suspicion the other war ended inconclusively. Yeah, it probably ended when the. Ah, uh, who knows? Who cares? Um, okay. This is kind of in a kind of... You know, they always say, like, a, if you're, like, a really big superpower and you're bordering a nation next to you that's in kind of a state of disarray, like it's unstable, mm -hmm. it kind of benefits us. But we don't seem to be getting sucked into these rebellions. I feel like they're to our advantage in a kind of weird way, don't you think? Yep. I think you're right. Um. Oh my god. My heir, which is referred to as Babby. <laughs> I gave the name Babby because it was a baby at the time. <laughs> <laughs> You and are now, a very, very strange and, man. And then it's my hair now. It's my hair. And they've got a tray. Ugly. Ugly. What, an ugly 12-year-old. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> the better thing is when you have a have an ugly zero-year-old, how do you know he's going to be ugly? <laughs> or when you get lusty 10-year-olds. Oh, hey, we've gained some people who support us. So how do we know until the plot's fully like developed then? How do we know? Mm. How do you know? Um, you, you should get an important decision available. You should probably invite me to that plot manually because the game won't assume I will help because we don't like each other. But... Okay, let me just do that then. So if you right click on my face, you should be able to invite to plot or something like that. What's your name? You're Dave, aren't you? Yep, I'm Dave. I search for you manually and I can't find you. 
You should find me. Just click on the yeah, on Northumberland, yeah. and you should see my face yeah. right next Man, to Castle. Man, a really nice goatee. That's a beautiful goatee. Oh, on my screen, it's a full beard. Demand gavel kingdom. What am I do hoping to do? Plot. Invite to intrigue or invite to plot or something. Invite to plot, yeah. Doesn't seem to be there. No. Oh, okay. Then I can't help you. Let's try doing it through the plot menu. That might work. Yeah, you don't seem to I'm be part of list. your council. You don't seem to be in my list. I am a part of your council. Cool. You're not. I am. Hmm. Hey, there's the Knights Templar. Cool. Okay, how many troops do you have? You have 3,500. How many troops do I have? I have 3,000. So we have 6,500 troops, all in all. I can't believe you've become so insanely powerful. How did that happen? I'm scared. I, ca I came of age. Oh, I can see now, so we have an option to actually push the claim, but we need lots of plot power. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, everyone just... How much plot power do you have? Um, 21%. Ouch. Um... That ain't happening, is it? So that's technically what um, a claim is. It's just a, it's just a majority rule thing, isn't it? Everyone, if we, everyone agrees that someone should have this tile, technically they have the tile, don't they? Exactly. Not majority consensus. The tower construction will need a mason to work. Hang on. I'm building a tower. To work the stone for both beauty and strength. The question is whom you should hire. I know a craftsman who has a skill. <coughs> or any boy off the street will do fine. I'm gonna do go with a craftsman. I'm building stuff just because I've got money. Well, that's always a good reason to. The cupbearer of England has agreed to join my plot. <laughs> Ooh, that, that's good news. <laughs> he's probably pissed that he's been given the cup bearer. <laughs> yeah. Because of my high intrigue skill? Wow, okay. Uh, give me the quill. Import some stone. Jesus. Uh, that gave me a claim. Okay, so I've got an option to change my realm laws. To go more centralized, wouldn't would that be a good idea? Mm, yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Are you trying to get the centralization yeah. up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove that. Okay. We've got two or four, man. Hey, why don't you have to buy any favors? That was easy. Mm -hmm. So when's a good time to revoke tiles? Excommunication's one of them, isn't it? Yep. When people are excommunicated, you can do basically whatever you want to them. <laughs> you, you. Why can I lower the gates? Yeah, I thought that too. I got the option too. Oh, there's an epidemic in England somewhere. Oh, I'm a poet. I am a, I'm a scarred poet who's deceitful, proud, cruel, and greedy. Awesome. You sound like a really bad, bad guy. I'm Dave of Northumberland, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I I know a person called Dave, and they're all evil people. I don't think you should do that, Dave. So that a claim of Thessalonica. At the age of 14, he died under suspicious circumstances. <laughs> Barbie died. Aww. Bat not Barbie, Babby. It's wee Babby. Poor Babby. Why did you giggle? You didn't do that, did you? Nope. Okay. Not me this time. 
I might be trying to kill the King of England. Oh. But that's neither here nor there. Peace be with you. We'd like you to back our plot to kill the king and accept. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was given up pretty quick. That was your that was your chance to be mysterious and elusive in that event. <laughs> Well, uh, okay. The great tower you began planning a long time ago has finally been finished. A tower this tall can be seen from a long way away, and people are equally amazed and frightened by the power you have displayed by accomplishing such a grand feat of construction. During the years of work, you have spent your time perfecting your knowledge and the many key aspects of science and construction. Knowledge will last for centuries. The tower is also sure to hold back many thousands of enemy soldiers. Um, your tile cool. a little bit in a bit of a trouble here. Scotland's declared war on it. Say what? Your title in Carrick. For fuck's sake, Scotland. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I see that. That's a big stack, too. 6,000. That's what she said. That's bros. So many bros. Okay, we'll meet up in York and we'll... Yeah. We'll go deal with that. I don't understand why your dudes are so small. Is that just to represent that you're underneath me? Because just based on size. It's it's because I'm not really technically involved. If I was the AI, I wouldn't be helping you out, oh. which is kind of weird. Okay, I'm attached to your armies, so feel free to march away to march to glory. This is a Bitches. this is the tester, just to test it out. See, if, oh shit, they've got nine thousand dudes, bro. Oh wow, how many do you have? This is the warm-up. 6,000? This is the warm-up. Yeah, we're gonna lose. Well, they got 16,000, 15... Jesus! Oh. Do not engage. Uh, I think we should let it go. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh no. Why isn't the king... You can kill that 5,000 stack, though. I know, but they're going to regroup, aren't they? You see them? Yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it. Yeah, but... This is the French army. Why is the French here? The French and Scots have a long-standing alliance, don't they? Do they? They do historically. Yeah, they're allied to the king of Scotland. Through what? Marriage between... Somebody, I don't know who. The fuck, my wife is plotting against me? That's not good. At age 69, they died of slow fever. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna punish her by reading her poems. They seem to be sending like little trickles of troops over to us. This feels like a really great situation. We're gonna arrive there in time. No, where are you going? Where is this French army? Hunt going? them down, fam! Oh, the. the. the attacking Cornwall. Well, go kick it, kick their ass in Cornwall. No oh, England, English army's coming. Kind of need this revolt to end, right? Yeah, I know it's hurting us, isn't it? Mhm. Mm Special character option: go into hiding. I refuse. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go into hiding. Is, ah. Really? Is that a good idea? Nah. Well, what? what? <laughs> It's slow fever, what could possibly go wrong? Oh my god, yeah, it's taken over the whole of the UK, hasn't it? Yep. I don't have a court physician and my gates are open. That seems unsanitary. Oh no, we lost Carrick. Yeah, only the siege though. We lost the battle, but not the war. Yep. Okay, so he has 7,000 troops. Can you hire some mercenaries? Do you have any money? Mm, 2,000, no. Okay, hire mercenaries, please, and go kick his ass. No, not 2,200, sorry. Oh, okay. Well, that's not 
the same as 2000. No. Now we have 300. Um... We've only got one guy that we can use as a commando. Do we have to hire the... Oh, we have to hire the commanders, don't we? Is it good to always have three commanders on an army? Uh, yes, it's good to have three commanders on an army. I have a slow fever, actually, so this is kind of bad. I thought you went into hiding. I didn't. Oh. I'm an idiot. Oh, boy. I went into hiding after you made the suggestion. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no. I have diarrhea. I don't have slow fever actually. I have diarrhea. Or wait, I'm not entirely sure. But my court physician is crap, so that, that's good. Um. How many troops do you have? Not enough. No. Yeah, I have the slow fever. Um, what's retinues? I'm a lunatic now. Cool. Yeah, for what? I went completely mad. <laughs> so you got army le le levies, you've got fleet levies. And you've got yep. re retinues. What's retinues? That's your personal standing army. Create a shock retinue. This will start out empty supply, but reinforce to a specific size. Oh, so I, I can raise some extra troops that I'm not aware of. Mm-hmm. What? Oh, this costs a lot of money, though. Yep. It costs a lot of, lot of money to create, but it's very cheap to maintain. You're developing slow fever. <laughs> okay. Are you developing slow fever too? Yeah, I've got diarrhea too. I've got... Okay. Malaise? Malaise? Malaise! Lying around going, Oh, I feel so ill! <laughs> I keep getting on while there's a lot of events firing. Uh, you can stand down your army, by the way. Are you sure? Well, no, actually I'm not. <laughs> can you go siege uh, Lancaster? Lancaster. Just right next door. Right oh, west. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh my god, I'm really ill. Feel as you're burning up in times of difficulties to constrain dreams and reality. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not good. No. Oh shit, I almost killed my bear. That would have been horrible, Twitch. Twitch? Why am I talking to Twitch? <laughs> oh, I got better. Successful treatment. Good. Stay safe, my I man. Know, I was very ill, but then I got better. I died, but then I got better. <laughs> oh, you got, a, you got your hunting dog and everything? Yeah, you're good. <clears throat> oh my god, you're really quick to look at the stats. You know the icons, though, don't you? Yep. Yeah. I guess I can come out of hiding now, right? I've already had slow fever. I can't get it again, can I? Yeah, the thing is, you have minus three health from the slow fever, but you get plus two health from the successful treatment, and then you have plus one health from the hunting dog. So you're actually at zero, a net zero in health. So you shouldn't die from the slow fever. Right. Okay. I'm going to come out of hiding then. Yep. Okay, we're about to end the revolt, I think. Okay. So hopefully that'll bring our liege around to deal with the Scots. Oh yeah, there we go. So we're, if we combine these troops, we should actually be able to do it, shouldn't we? Yep, I'm just going to go down there and... Oh my god, the uh, sea just takes so long, don't they? They do. Okay, I'm gonna come up and join your army again. Okay. 
And I'm gonna mint mint money for money. I'm not minting for glory. Uh, what the fuck is that on? I offered you a position of commander. Will you accept? Uh, nah. No, okay. That'd not make him very happy, though, would it? Does he know that we're plotting to kill him and plotting to overthrow him? I don't think he has figured that bit out yet. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, we almost have the siege done, and when we do, we'll probably win the war. Oh my goodness. Well, there's France pushing on the southern border in Normandy as well. Fuck you, France. Oh my god, France has got bits in Spain as well. They've got Navarra and Valencia. Yeah, they do. Probably from holy warring against the Muslims. Yeah. Yeah, that feels quite easy to do. Russia's a bit of a clusterfuck in this game, aren't they? They're all like split and divided into little, little states. Among yeah, them. they're they're basically nomads. Like the Cumanians, the, the uh, Cumania or whatever you call it, Cum Cumania. <laughs> um, hey, we got a claim on. Sorry, go on. Step people. Yeah. I got, got a claim on what? I got a claim on Cumberland. Cool. Now we just need to go take Cumberland. <laughs> All right, done. Hundred percent. They're gonna peace out now. Yep. There we go. And now he's heading north immediately. Good we... follow up north. I'm just follow gonna follow up north. Time on right. Yep. Detach from King's army, yep. Slice. What did you say on one of the first episodes? The problem with Scotland is it's full of Scots. Yep. We'll just even out there. You know where that you know where that quote's from, right? Simpsons. Isn't it? Braveheart. Really? Yep. Well, I didn't know. Longshank that. says it about Scotland. Really? I think he gets quoted in Simpsons. Maybe he was quoting the Braveheart quote. Yeah, no, that's entirely possible. Search high and wide for a court physician. Whoa. Oh! Shit! Oh boy. I told him to attach and... Yeah, you're attached to the king. No worries. Well... Oh, you got you guys will win that hopefully. I'm gonna join in though Maybe. just for the lols. Yeah, do that. I'm gonna flank them from the north so they can't retreat. Kind of maybe. Slash. Slash. Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. There you go. So I'm trying to understand what I'm looking at here. So there's the checkered kind of lines. The horizontal ones, and then there's ones that have got like, little yeah. gaps in them. So what's the difference between the two? Okay, uh, if you go to Northumberland, which is my holding, yep. then th there's solid lines, right? Yep. That means every single holding relevant to this war has been occupied. Right. Then in Cumberland, it's checkered, which means that some, but not all, of the holdings have been occupied. Right. And the color of the, of the stripes represents the color of the uh, Scottish coat of arms. So if you see in in Gowrie, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Yeah, in Gowrie you can see he's got the the gold with the red inlay. That says coat of arms. The bastard. Okay, okay, I get it. So now we need to siege back oh, all our shit. Shefflin. Yep. Oh boy. It's kind of a bit of an unnecessary micro, the fact that, you know, when, like, I don't know, like, for instance, when one of your council dies. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you what, Scotland's got that divide and conquer thing down to a T, hasn't it? Yep. Was that your army being no, kicked? No, no, mine's in Carrick right now. Oh, you're in Carrick. You're unsieging the war goal. Cool. Good. Yeah.
So when would the scenario be that you'd want to press one of the weak claims for people in your court? When, when whenever would you try and do that? Because, oh, technically you're expanding uh, your realm though, aren't you? Yeah. So as long as they are uh, already landed with you or they're a member of your dynasty, you would want to do it. So you want to press claims and that are below you, aren't you? So therefore you still rule above yeah. them. Oh, I see. And e even if they're not technically of your dynasty or your or your vassals, you might want to do it because it'll weaken your opponent. So put, And yeah. they will also be very, very grateful to you. So they may actually vassalize after they come into power. You can turn around and say, now become my vassal. And they'll go, okay. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. So I guess I'd really want to push all those county claims then, wouldn't I? Yep. Okay, all right, that makes sense to me now. Okay, that's cool. But don't push people's county claims unless they're of your dynasty and already are counts under you. Rip. Why? Because they'll become independent counts. Really? Yeah, but they might s swear loyalty to you because they're happy once they're in power, but you have no guarantee of that, which is kind of annoying. I wish you could say, I will press your claim if you agree to become my vassal, but there's no such mechanic, unfortunately. All right. Hmm, okay, interesting. Mm. I'm, by the way, I'm standing down my armies now. You think this is already over with? Mm, I can't afford to stay in the war. I'm out of cash. Oh. It's all entirely accurate. I have 150 bucks, but I want to keep my money for myself. He was asking me to become his command, I think, because my marshal's quite high. At age 24. Davina of Twitch has died in childbirth. Oh. Right. That was your sister or something? I don't know. Yes, it was. Yep. This world. She, she had 16 marshaled. God damn. She was brawny. She was. It was a fly. Go man. into, go into fly. hiding again. What's going on? What's going on now? Somebody's trying to kill me. Oh, yeah. It's not me, I swear. Okay. I'm trying to kill the king. <laughs> Child air does not have a focus. I've called my my air Alex the <laughs> second. <laughs> uh. I'm trying to introduce my air, who's Falk, not fuck, but Falk, of Bamba, but Bamboro, Bamboro. Is that how you pronounce it? Bamburra. Yeah, it sounds about right. Uh, it's, it's spelled Bamberg. Bamberg, uh, yep. Like the, like the cake. Have you ever heard of Bamberg cake? No, I haven't. Is that actually, good? I think it's Bamberg, actually, now I think about it. Never mind. Never mind. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Okay, let's finish this war before we end the episode, right? Yeah, yeah. How's the king doing? He's got his 5,000 men out there? Okay. <laughs> you start and the French to, didn't occupy... You start to oh, spot patterns, don't you, on... on um, you start to spot patterns on the events, don't you? Because you kind of just lead in the direction that you feel like you know where the events go, don't you? Yep. At some point you stop reading the fluff text. Yes, you do. That. Yeah, yeah. I think I am reaching that stage now. I'm not too certain about the outcomes, but I'm not reading the actual the bit at the beginning. Do you know it'd be really yeah, nice if the, if Paradox hired someone to read them out to you? Know that'd be really cool. Yeah, I really wish there was more voiceover in the game. That would be kind of cool. Pandemic. Oh, of... that, that could be a good idea for a mob. Oh, measles. Oh shit! Can I get shut the gates? Shut the gates. Measles. Yeah. Fuck me. Yeah, they're really close too. I don't want measles. Measles pretty was pretty fail, wasn't it, in the Middle Ages? Measles is bad. Yeah. It's funny, you know, when you get measles or chicken pox or other other conditions of that variety, you know, it's kind of like it's a holiday for in modern days, isn't it? It's, it's like some time off work. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes! I've got one of the good illnesses. The ones that I don't definitely die, I don't get scarred, and I get to get some time off work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so fucked up we think like that now. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you ever get a diagnosis with uh, that has that's named after a saint, 
like Saint Andrew's fire or something like that. Yeah. Then the reason why it's named after a saint is because it's a deadly disease. It's something people used to die from. Really? Yep. <laughs> I just neutered my council. <laughs> what do you mean I neutered? They now have no power in my realm. <clears throat> oh, you're right. You actually removed the councils, Bill. A bill yep. So you you kind of rule more absolutely now. Hereditary absolute county, bitches. I am absolutely fabulous. Oh yeah. Okay, so I have an option now to change my realm laws as well. I don't understand why that doesn't appear as like one of the bubbles at the top. Sure, that's kind of important. It should. It really, really should. So here we go. So I can change my council laws. Imprisonment can be done by the council. So what should we... What should I change now? Should I become more centralized still? Yep, centralized is good. Are you sure? Yeah, okay. Shit, we have a really good king. He has 11,000 troops. What, the king of England? Mm-hmm. He's awesome. He's quick, he's arbitrary, he's paranoid, he's wrathful, he's slothful, he's craven, he has great pox and he's a lunatic, but he has 20 diplomacy. Wow, he can get stuff done. Wow, I didn't have to... Con yep. Wow, my accounts are really loving me. That's, that was really easy done. Cool. So, I want to grab Cumberland ASAP. Yeah, can you declare for it? That's how many, how many dudes has the Countess of Cumberland got? Five, four, five thousand. Whoa! Mm -hmm. You have searched York from the top to bottom, and I've come to realize that really no more pickly boar's head. Not only that, but all the food stocks nearly exhausted. Loads of people get minus one health. Mm -hmm. It's because you're hiding in your castle and you're running out of food. Oh, of course, right? Okay, I think it's time to come out. Oh no, the measles is still a thing. Mm hmm. So what do you do? I don't know. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh huh. Mm hmm. There's an event that keeps popping up. The options are yum or or something else. <laughs> that event <laughs> keeps firing. That might involve eating someone. <laughs> May or may not. At age 54. Oh my god, I devoured her. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a cannibal? <laughs> no! My guy is really good, I'm gonna go to hell. Well, I think that's a good place to end it. So, um, <laughs> yeah, as uh, Dave here, or rather Alex of York, devours his... Court, cannibal, Marshall, plus three, general opinion, minus ten. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. This character likes people. Yeah, you do. You're a people person. <laughs> anyway, and Norge is huge. Cool. Norge is awesome. They have Iceland and most of Sweden. This is the Norge I like to see. <laughs> and on that bombshell, what do people do if they like the video, Dave? They, uh, they tell all their friends and they hit that share button. And they do all the likes and subscribes. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Cheers.